Welcome to Hubly. I'm going to run you through a demo of our product here so that you can get started and learn all about how we will help you grow your firm and service your clients. The first button that you're going to have to be familiar with is how to create a workflow. Hubly believes in creating workflows for all of your processes to ensure that you standardize your services and that nothing falls through the cracks. You'll either be able to create workflows from scratch or adopt them from our templates library. We highly recommend adopting workflows from our best practice templates library, where we have hundreds of different workflows purpose built for advisory firms. Most advisory firms are starting with accounts and money movement workflows, or they're starting with new client process or your client review process are some common starting workflows you'll simply be able to add these workflows to your hub. Once you've adopted workflows from the templates library, you'll be able to access them from the workflows menu. This workflows menu is where we provide a consolidated view of all of your key processes for your business. This specific demo hub has three key processes, your new client process, accounts and money movement, and your client reviews. Here, you can easily toggle to see which workflows are part of this process. With a click of a button, you can open up your new client process. This is how Hubly is going to help you manage your day. Imagine waking up and instead of trying to figure out where did you leave clients off, you can click a button, open up your new client process and see where clients are at. Each of these columns is what we call a workflow at Hubly. These six plus workflows make up your onboarding process. These are clients that are in that specific workflow. For example, Gabe, Violet, and Brent are scheduled or new leads referrals that came in. Aaron and Jim are scheduled for their introductory call. And Dave, Don, and Bill are going through your data gathering workflow. Right at a glance, you can see who on the team is responsible for the next step in that workflow. And you can see the progress that individual clients are making. Hubly integrates directly with your CRM. And so when new clients are scheduled for introductory calls, you can simply add them into the workflow. For example, we can go ahead and add client Blair Owens into the introductory call workflow. Now, how you move a client along the work process is you can see what the next task is and who is responsible for it. So let's assume I'm an operations associate on the team. I can then click on Don to open up the client profile in Hubly. This is where we sync in a lot of your data from your CRM. At the top left here, you can see the household information. The top right, you can see the meeting data. For example, we have an introductory call on June 19. You can see contact information, who the assigned advisor is, important client dates, and even your notes. This is where the operations associate can decide to send the client document checklist, access an email temp template from the firm, and go ahead and complete that task. Every task is audited and date stamped, and you can easily access all of your historical workflow information directly in the client card. And I can quickly toggle back to see we did an introductory call workflow. I can see who on the team contributed to that step of the process, and I can even see notes that were added directly here, which syncs in with your CRM. This is a Redtail CRM integration. Wealthbox and our Salesforce integration works exactly the same way. And as you can see, when a task is completed, we move the progress and move the client along. You can easily toggle to a new key process for the firm. I can, for example, open up my accounts and money movement processes. And here I can see my new account opening, my account transfer, incoming asset, IR contribution, withdrawals, and 401k rollovers. You can see how many clients are currently going through particular money movement processes. 
you can see how long we've been waiting for the clients or even when the particular workflow was started, helping you stay on top of all the services you provide to your clients. We can then also add new clients to workflows. For example, I can go ahead and add client Don Simmons after the data gathering workflow into the account transfer workflow. The workflow will automatically delegate tasks. You can see here the first task was automatically delegate, delegated to Debbie on the team. You might be wondering how the workflow magically does that. You can go ahead and edit the workflow to see. When a workflow is adopted from the templates library or created by you, you'll be able to create your standard list of tasks. You'll be able to assign those tasks to different team members. And you'll then be able to determine the reminder system for those tasks and who is reminded when and how work flows from your team back and forth. No more need to worry about back and forth communication, endless email chains, or back and forth communication on Slack or Teams. The workflow keeps everyone on task and move, ensure work is done for your clients. Once you have built out all of your key processes for your firm, you'll then be able to start setting up different views for your day. Some of the most common views in Hubly that are used by our clients is the operations team's view. Here, it's going to show you all of the workflows across your hub where there's an overdue task for someone on the operations team. The operations team can access these tasks via the views, or they can access their task list via the hub feed. The hub feed provides a consolidated view of all of the outstanding tasks that need to be completed for all of the open workflows. You can also create additional custom views. For example, my name is John and I can create an overdue dashboard for myself. These are all of my overdue tasks that are due for me this week. Moving on from there, you'll be able to access the insights dashboards once you start collecting workflow data. I'll be showing a couple of our most powerful dashboards that help you stay on top of your firm. The active workflows dashboard will show you all of your active workflows across your firm. Your firm today has 41 active workflows and we automatically track the aging for you. Think of aging as how long the workflow has been open to help you ensure that nothing falls through the cracks. Here, you'll be able to click on the interactive dashboards and see what is overdue or how long things have been open. For example, we've been waiting to update the beneficiaries for Helen Parr for 272 days. Once again, they're interactive, so you can go ahead and open up that specific client card with a click of a button. Some of our other powerful insight dashboards is your client meetings overview dashboard. Here you can quickly see how many meetings your team has scheduled, what sort of progress you're making, and how often and frequently you're meeting with clients. For example, we had a very long number of meetings in June. And last but not least is the user task activity insight report. Here you can see who on your team is working on what. You can see tasks that have been completed by Alex, Debbie, and John on the team, helping you guys keep each other accountable, helping make sure that clients are serviced, and most importantly, making it easy for you to grow your business. As you get accustomed to Hubly and a different way of working, remember, always think about creating workflows to standardize processes and adopt key best practices from our templates library. 
access those best practices and those key processes from the workflow and process menu. Create custom views that help you quickly find information that you're looking for. And last but not least is leverage out insights functionality to make better decisions, know what's happening in your business and grow your firm to service more clients. Thank you very much for watching our demo today.